to the summer you're gonna get more and more of a brown shrimp run and we start focusing on areas real close to the Wrigley's or in the Wrigley's or we even start moving out to Lake Bourne we're using a shrimp Creole today in the shrimp cocktail just trying to mimic a shrimp style color that's gonna be the primary source of food throughout the months of June as we get into July croakers get real popular too. Let me go ahead and put this puppy in the box and we're going to get back after it. Another good one on shrimp creole. Shrimp creole. Oh, he threw my shrimp creole off. It's another thing as you get into the warmer months, you know, we're still in that May, June time frame, but that water temperature starts warming up. You're going to notice your soft plastic lures like this shrimp creole right here, they're gonna tear up a little bit more in the summer months than they do in the uh, winter, just because of the water's warmer. It makes the plastic a little soft, softer, but you know, we'll get 20 fish off one lure in the winter. In the summer, four or five, it's pretty normal. Another nice trout, let's get back at it. Little rascal here. The last two were pretty decent fish in that pound and a half, two and a half pound range. This one's a little short. Throwing back. What we're fishing right now, we got a got a submerged structure behind us. Usually sits around six, seven foot of water, and it's a good suction zone right at the mouth of the Wrigley's and Pontchartrain, and it's got a good gully right off the side of it. It gets down to that 14, 16 foot of water. Sometimes they're up shallower on the actual structure. Sometimes they're off the gully. You just got to figure it out. And uh, right now we're catching them off the drop off, a little bit deeper water. They're sitting about 12 to 14 foot. And it's your, give you know, your same technique, bouncing it off the bottom. Short little hops, letting that either half ounce or three eighths ounce, whatever you like to fish with, come back down. Another technique that's very good in those May, June time of uh, year, when fish kind of school up on certain little spots, these areas have very hard currents a lot of times. It's Carolina rigging. You know, a lot of people have those spot lock trolling motors now. And you don't cover a lot of water. A lot of times, you know, the fish are schooled up in one little zone this time of year rather than covering water like we do on the bridges. Put that spot lock down. If that current's peeling real hard, you can use what they call the rucker rig. It's a simply a Carolina rig, basically. But like a three quarter ounce egg sinker and uh, just lift that lure, Carolina rig, up and down, and that'll really help you keep contact with the bottom. But the tide's not screaming too hard, so I'm, I can get away with a 3 eighths or a half right now, but if it really gets to ripping, it can be a little bit too much for a jig head. Let's see if we can put a few more in the box here. Oh, saw that sucker jump up like a tarpon and throw my hook there. It's a pretty nice fish right there. Let me get back. I just had that hit. See if I can get him out. Just throwing out. I'm in no man's land. Got a current coming from the chef towards the Wrigley's. And they just follow this channel here. It's very common for us to catch them in this little area here. Really like a falling tide a lot right in this little zone. Oh, that's like a bite. Bite. Come on, baby. But 
out. There he is. There he is. There he is. Nice fish. Oh yeah. There we go, baby. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. This is the size fish that you're looking for in the middle of the summer. We don't get, or not the middle, we're, we're approaching the beginning of the summer, just getting in the short sleeve weather. We don't get a lot of big ones around here this time of year. This is a pretty nice fish. We're going to put him in the well and make another cast. You know, I always say with those 3 8 ounce or half ounce jig heads, it takes, oh, it takes about a second her foot for that lure to go from the surface there he is, to the bottom. So we almost always are bouncing these baits on the bottom. So 10 foot, 10 seconds, 15 foot, 15 seconds. That's a good way. That's a good way to know if you're on the bottom. If you're not really used to doing a lot of lawn watching. That's what we call it, lawn watching, because I'm... I'll put a fresh one on. Let's try the shrimp cocktail here. I've been using shrimp creole. Cocktail's the vortex shad. But anyway, what lawn watching is, that's really the secret to this Lake Pontchartrain jigging that gives a lot of anglers some trouble. And the reason line watching is so important is two things. And that's what we use with our matrix uh, floor, uh, mono. It's a very easy line to see with your eyes. And that's what I want to do. I want to be able to see it. Because when it gets to the bottom, it'll, it'll, go, it'll go limp and I can visually see it. Or if the baits fall into the bottom and a fish hits it, I can visually see it. So that's where the term, that's what the term line watching means, and that's what we're talking about when we see it and do that. And that's what we're trying to do is line watch. But that takes a lot of practice, a lot of years of experience with this deep water jigging. That's why I say it's about a second per foot to fall with a 3 8 ounce jig head. So like, what, let's watch this right here. We're going to chunk it out there, hit the water, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Boom, it just went left. So that's about t around twelve foot where I just threw that. I'm just going to dribble it back in. I'm on a little roll for a second there. See if I can find that stool again. And after each little series of pops, it's just a quick little reel. Pick up your slack. I like to put my rod tick back close to the water. I fish with a lot of slack, just trying to hop it in that strike zone. And catch these right here. Woo! Coming in hot. Come on, baby. And not many people would catch three fish in a row like we just did on shrimp creole and then just switch, switch to the shrimp cocktail for fun. Feels like it's got a little, little weight to it. Might be a nice one. Ah, I got it hooked in the side. I go over this all the time. See how, see how this fish is not hooked in the mouth, it's hooked in the side. Anytime that happens, the fish is gonna be, a, it's gonna be a lot harder of a fight. It's gonna feel like you got a monster. This is probably a keeper, we're gonna let him go. And the reason why it feels like that, it's just, it's not as aerodynamic, obviously. You're bringing the fish in sideways, so it feels like it's got a lot of weight. It's a lot more fun whenever you do have them in the mouth, and it's a big four pounder come up shaking his head. Got a nice little school of fish right here, though. And all of these little points and suction zones right here where Pasha Train meets 
the Wrigley's are in that May, June time frame, July, very, very consistent, good areas. You got the Treasure Isle Point, the Hospital Wall, the Wrigley's 90 Bridge, another great spot when the Pearl River gets a lot lower is the L N Train Bridge that connects Lake Bourne into Wrigley's. This is a real, this is a little area that we hone in on really hard in that May, June, July time frame. A lot of times on these sunnier days as we get into the summer, I like to target those redfish in those ponds, but if the trout are still around, they usually come first and that's what we go after. Ooh, big fish. Look at, him. Look at him shaking his head. Look at him shaking his head. Oh boy. There you go. Shake it, baby. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. He's not happy. He don't like that vortex shed in his mouth. I'm gonna come over here. Show you guys another spot. You know, we were just fishing about 100 yards away. If you look back at that post in the distance, that's the hospital wall. And I also like to fish all of these beat up camps across all of the Lake Bo I mean, Lake Pontchartrain shoreline here. And this is where I typically catch the bigger trout when I'm in this region here. That's a pretty good one here. You don't catch as many, you rarely find them real schooled up, but when you hit one of these wooden poles, it's a good one. Another technique, you know, not only throwing on the ed edges of the piers or away from them, you can actually throw it up in between them. Just like we do some of the bridges and work it right through the pipe. Now you're living a little bit dangerous here with losing a jig head, but sometimes it's what it takes to catch the bigger ones. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and roll. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Using a shrimp creole matrix and a shrimp cocktail vortex, jigging some uh, deep water stuff on the eastern part of Pontchartrain. These two colors are great for clean water, which we have, and in that May June time frame when the brown shrimp are in. These are going to be in your monthly subscription box, so make sure to subscribe. Also, we're going to go over some safety stuff. This is new. You got to wear a um, you know an attachment to your kill switch. That's the new law. And Cito's made this really cool arm armband here for whatever you're driving the boat. Just like that. Attach it to your kill switch. Stay safe out there. We're going to be putting these in your monthly bait box too. So make sure to subscribe. You get something to keep you safe out there. Until next time, good fishing, guys. We're going to go ahead and go.